What's up guys, this is iTweaks here, and today I'm going to be showing you the best tweaks of the week. So, I want to get through these a little bit quicker than usual, mostly because you guys like shorter videos, and also because I have about 13% battery left here, so I'm going to try to get through all these tweaks before my phone dies. So, the first tweak that I want to talk to you guys about is called Disturb Me Later. Now, what this tweak does is allow you to set a cutoff time for Do Not Disturb. So, you can see right here, if I go ahead and swipe up, on my control center, if I tap and hold on the do not disturb and I let go, you can see that we get a little timer right here. And this actually goes up to almost an entire day, as you can see, 23 hours and 59 minutes. So basically how this works is once you enable do not disturb by tapping and holding on the little toggle right there in the control center, then you can set a timer for how long you want do not disturb to be enabled. So this is going to be helpful for, you know, when you go to a movie or anything like that, let's say you want to turn on do not disturb for two hours. And that way you don't have to remember to turn off do not disturb because I do that all the time and really it's just pretty annoying because I don't get notifications from anything and my phone's always on do not disturb so it's definitely nice to have this little option to allow you to automatically disable do not disturb so that's it in a nutshell next up we have a tweet called dock color you can see right here that I actually have a purple dock right now and that's all due to dock color so it allows you to change the color of your dock very simply and very easily. So let's go ahead and jump into the settings here and you can see that you do have to enable it and then you, all you have to do is just select a color. So you see you have your RGB sliders as well as your alpha right here and then you can slide through and decide what color you want for your dock to match your theme. And that's basically all you have to do. Once you've selected it then you can change the alpha for the background transparency or the dock background transparency right there and then you just tap apply changes and it's going to respring your device and it's going to change to that color very simple very easy and it's a free tweak so definitely check it out next up we have a tweak called reach weather now what this tweak does is allow you to use that space in reachability that's usually blank right up here so if we go into our uh, settings right here and let's go over to reach weather and we'll enable that and then right here we have manual reachability control and if you toggle this on this basically allows you to keep reachability enabled for as long as you want until you dismiss it rather than it automatically dismissing by itself so you also have right here the customization this is where you're gonna type in the city and you can also put in the actual uh, country if you want to do that as well and if you want to change the color then you can tap on this and then type in your hex code right here I don't really know any hex codes off the top of my head other than black and white so I'm not going to actually show you that but this basically just shows you different colors for specific portions of this and then right down here you also can add a clock page which is basically just going to show you the time and you can also enable the detailed weather view right here as well you can tap on this to enable the forecast page which we'll go ahead and do and then tap right here to change the forecast type so you can have a three day or a five day forecast and then right down here if you don't use Fahrenheit then you can use Celsius if you just toggle that on and then of course down here you can change the language if you want to do that so now that's actually enabled so now all we have to do is just apply reachability and you can see that we have the, the clock page and we swipe over here's the temperature as well as the area or the city and you can see that it's hazy one more swipe is going to give you some more detailed weather information and then one more swipe is going to give you the three-day forecast as you can see right there so a pretty cool little tweak it makes use of that reachability area right up there that's actually usually blank so pretty cool tweak next up we have a tweak called app box 8 now what this tweak does is allow you to launch specific applications that you customize right there from your lock screen now there's a ton of settings for this but you can see right here how this works first of all you do need to enable it and if we tap on apps this is where you're going to select which applications you want on your lock screen so right here are all the applications I've set in order to enable those all you need to do is just take that grabber bring it up if you want to disable them then bring them down and then right here we also have the auto unlock feature this is basically going to allow you to uh, auto unlock for a specific application if you enable this and then type in your passcode this is going to fully unlock your device so when you open up an application directly from your lock screen when you get out of that application you're going to be sent to your springboard and your phone's fully unlocked so this is just kind of for if you have some security issues then maybe you don't want to enable both of these you can also auto unlock notifications as well as auto unlock applications so let's go ahead and go back here and let's turn on do not disturb and then right down here we also have apps per row which you can change all the way up to five right there 
And then right down here you have apps per row and landscape, which you can change up to seven. And right down here you can enable badges, labels, as well as round icons, which I'm gonna toggle that off. And then you have opacity and size, which I'm gonna leave just because I think it looks good with the default settings. And then you also have open app with long hold as well as long hold for plugins app only. So basically this allows you to tap on an application to open up the app and then tap and hold on an application to open up the plugin. And you can mess with these a little bit and that changes how that works, but that's how I'm gonna keep it right now. I'm just gonna keep both of these turned off. And then right down here you have sleep timer, which you can change. This is basically going to allow the phone to stay on while you're using the uh, app box feature. And you can toggle that on to change the time frame, as you can see, all the way up to never. And you can disable this for app views as well. And the app views is basically the plugins. And then right down here you have app views, which is going to allow you to use these plugins. And you can see that we have playlists for your music, you have contacts for your phone, you also have social and notes. And I'm going to show you some of these and how these work. And if we tap on contacts, you can see what contacts you want to show in your plugin. And then also down here you have compose sheet for messages, byte SMS, as well as mail. So let's jump back here and let's actually just go check this out now. Since we have all the settings configured and then to actually get to your app box eight, you just swipe over to the left, just like that. And then here are all your applications. So you can see if we just tap on settings, it's going to scroll up just like that. And then if we hit the home button, we're actually on our springboard. So let's go back here and do this one more time. If we tap and hold on the messages, then you can see that it's actually going to compose a new message right there. So that's just the tap and hold. But if you tap on the messages, then it's obviously just going to open up the application. So this is the app view slash the plugin. Uh, that's what these do basically. So that's kind of cool. You also have this for the phone app. So if we tap and hold, it's going to bring up your favorite contacts and you can scroll through all your contacts actually down there as well. So that's app box in a nutshell. If you're a bigger fan of circular icons, then you can just change that up right in the settings as well. Next up, we have a tweak called AnyDrop 3. So you can see right here, if I swipe over, once you install this, you will have AnyDrop application. So if you open that up, it's basically just a file system that you can go through and share specific file types. So if you don't wanna just go through the actual files right here and go through var, mobile, all that good stuff, this is basically just like an iFile, uh, then you can actually just share it directly from the music application if you want to share a music file or if you want to share a YouTube file then you can do that right there a YouTube video so I'll show you how to do that if we just go into our music and we tap and hold on a music song on a song not a music song and we let go you can see that it's going to allow you to share that so I can send this to some of my iPhones right there or I can just tap on messages and send this to a specific person. So let's just say I wanted to send this to Cody. You can see that I've actually sent this a couple times, but all you have to do is just tap send and then it sends the entire song to that person through messages. Now the cool thing about this is that it doesn't have to be sent to a jailbroken device. This can be sent to a normal unjailbroken device and it's still going to work. They're still going to get the music file. So if we go ahead and open up our messages, you can see we just tap on the music right here. We have the entire song like a right there so you can just send the entire song directly to somebody and then they can save it and you can also do the exact same thing for YouTube videos if you want to do that first all you have to do is just download the YouTube video so let's just say we're going to download this one all you would do is tap on the three dots right up here and then you'll see this new little icon right here that's going to allow you to download this so if we tap on that then you can download high quality medium quality or low quality and this is just going to save to your device and then you can share that video through any drop three if you want to do that so really cool feature and if you're ever in need of sharing any type of file then maybe you want to check out this tweak next up we have a tweak called carpe diem so if you guys don't use uh, reach weather then you maybe want to check out carpe diem which is actually going to allow you to put a widget up in the reachability area so let's go ahead and tap on our settings and we'll tap on carpe diem now this is only going to work with one widget you can't add multiple widgets and scroll through them so let's just say I wanted to select stock. So if I tap on that and then if I apply reachability, you can see that the stock widgets is right up here. And if we want to go into the application itself, then we would just tap on it and it's going to open up the stock application. So let's go back here. Now some of the widgets actually don't work. You're going to have to mess with uh, which widgets actually work. And one of the other things is that it only works within application. So if you go to the springboard or anything like that, it's obviously not going to show up anything right here. So that's kind of a bummer. Hopefully that's something that we can uh, get an update possibly in the future.
So I try to burn through these tweaks as fast as possible. Let me know what you guys think about the speed of this video as well as what you think about the tweaks. Are you going to be downloading any of these from Cydia? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, if you want to see more videos on everything jailbreak as well as everything Apple, make sure you subscribe. All right, guys, until next time, peace.